when it comes to the issue of roommates, it's a very sensitive topic. You get to hear so many scary stories. I remember coming to this country, I really prayed hard for a good roommate. You people are literally together. As a foreigner here in Russia, I have only lived with Russians as roommates. That it is one thing to go to class, interact on the streets, but living same space with a Russian. A total stranger who the public media has publicized that bad people. I can't speak for everyone. I believe in sharing my own experience living with my Russian roommates. Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Martha. If this is your first time here, I am a foreigner living and studying in Russia and in today's video I'll be doing a Q&A tag with my Russian roommate of almost two years. Unfortunately, she is leaving the room, which comes with a whole roller coaster of emotion in this video. And for some reasons, we are blurring her face out. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. So, first question is, did you guys know each other before you became roommates? Mm, I think I knew you in Hostel 9, but I just knew the face. I met you a lot in the kitchen. Yes, yes. I would say we met a lot in the kitchen, but we did, never spoke. No, I remember one one thing, like before moving to this uh, dormitory. Yeah. I met you before the elevator and I said to you, do you know that we're moving? And really? I don't remember. You, you spoke to me? Yes, it was you. It was news to you, apparently. And you oh. said, and you said, what? And you made this word. <laughs> I, yeah, you were I shocked. cannot remember. You were shocked, honestly. I cannot remember. You know, I'm not really I good. just wanted to know if you... If I knew. If you have already found a place. Yes. We didn't know each other before. We roommates. We knew. It's complicated. <laughs> <laughs> okay, second question. What did you guys initially think of one another? the first time you met in the room. I was the first to pack into this room. I came in. So what was your first impression of me when you came into the room? You know, I can read auras. Like, I met you a lot in the kitchen and I thought, good roommate, I can Okay, for me, I would say, um, I kind of built myself in a way that when it comes to, like, Russians or foreigners, I'm indifferent. Like, I don't, I don't pick a side. Mm -hmm. That was how it was with my former roommates until I later discovered that they are really nice people and then I became, you know, free. I'm this kind of person that if you are good, fine. If you're not nice to me, I don't care. You know, I just go with the flow. But then when you came, I remember the first day you gave me some things. Where you're probably like, uh, <laughs> who is this girl giving me things? I like her, I like her. So yeah, the first, the first impression was I liked you. The third question, what is one rule that you guys have while living together? Do we have a rule in this, in this room? Okay, I know you don't like lights being on. Ah, right? yeah. <laughs> you don't like the lights being on. And I always like the lights being on. So like, it's not like a rule, but it's kind of like, we just got used to it. I think we get on really well. Yeah. Yeah, we get on really well. So there's yeah. no We respect each other. Yeah, we, space. Yes, we respect each other's space. And that's really nice. The next question, what are the major differences between you and your roommate? I have a lot to say. <laughs> anyway, like, I'm jealous of, in a good way, of her of her um, this ambitiousness, ambitiousness, <laughs> ambitiousness, and, 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 and this word exists. <laughs> so you think I'm ambitious? La yeah. What is this? And goals all over your wall. Okay. Another thing. What do you think is our difference? Mm -hmm. She doesn't like spicy food. I, I, I love spicy food. I do. You do? Where did you? <laughs> I, I was like, pretending. <laughs> <laughs> so you like that you love rice? The other day? I actually, I, I, I'm starting to love it. Okay. I'm just a drama queen, so I <laughs> those rice. I thought I was a drama queen in this room. I am. Another difference between us, I'll say our dressing style is 
totally different. Ah. Asia is more modest, more yes, put together. Our dressing style is different. Our food. You you eat uh, every day. You eat the same food. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> at at you, I'm not thinking. This, oh girl, this girl doesn't like food. Like, <laughs> I definitely don't. She's eating the same thing every day. Oh my god! That's right. I want to eat it right. It's delicious. I'm very skeptical when it comes to trying your food. So yeah, yeah. I noticed. But you try, you try and things. You, yeah, and you started making. That dish, yeah, and ah, and they already <laughs> made it like five, six times. She's talking about my meat pie. I love, I love, love, love. I meat love pie. it too. Honestly, I love it. Well, it is also nice when I give you right. Yes, very good. That's the photos. Another question: Do you guys sometimes get fed up with each other from seeing each other so often? No, we are in the size. same room, but. You are at the other end, uh -huh. and I'm here. You are doing your thing, I'm doing my thing. Yeah. We like to stay in the same space, but we don't cross each other's spaces. I don't know. It's complicated. Yeah, kind of. And we we don't make the noises. Right? Yes. Who is the noisy one in the room? Me. I am. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes, I'm the noisy one. Because I wake up really early, and I don't know why. I think I disturb you a lot. We'll wake up and like really Yeah, I wake up easily. Yeah. I don't wake up easily. But I wake up very early. So I think I'm always disturbing. Yeah, not yeah. always, honestly, not always. Really? Yes. Yeah. Who spends the most time getting ready in the morning? Mom. Yeah, I think we actually spend the same amount of time. We don't have classes together. Yeah, which is so things. So just throw things. And we don't do makeup the class. We both get ready in the morning depending on the class. What do you guys usually argue about? Have we had arguments in this room? Never, like wait a minute. We didn't No. We never have arguments. We just get along. Um, we just get along really well so there are, there, are no, there are no things. We don't have things to really yeah. argue about. We respect each other's spaces um, that works. Mm. Okay. What's the most spontaneous ad adventure you guys have done together? Do you remember that day we went shopping? <laughs> we didn't buy anything. <laughs> I was that day, gosh. <laughs> but I really liked yeah. it. It was for your cousin's wedding. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. The outfit yes, was yes. for your cousin's wedding. I remember I kept picking outfits <laughs> that were, you didn't like. Yeah. But I, it was my style. It was my yeah, style. Yeah, it wasn't your style. It was more of my style. And I wanted you to buy the dresses. Well, I, I really I really liked that adventure because we were Oh she was so fed up with me. <laughs> you I, were so, I was you tired. Tired. Like, I, I kept recommending okay, what about this one? No. What about this one? No. Yeah. But you said the same thing to the dresses that, that I showed you. Yes, it was yes, yes. I think that was where I got to understand, yeah. okay. In terms of yes. like outfits, we are totally different. As you will be picking A, I'm picking B. Question: What is the funniest thing you guys have done together? This one actually happened a few days back again. Remember when I woke up at night and I saw someone <laughs> hanging outside? <laughs> we know when people were quarreling or whatever they were doing. Yes. Do you remember the other night when, whether a boyfriend and a girlfriend? Oh, were that back? was. So spicy. <laughs> that was the day I was like, ah, this yeah. girl like I'm a boy. I'm a boy. Do you know what I'm a boy means? We well, both prepare different for I'm a boy. I'm a boy is when like you are. I Yes. That was what we were doing that night outside. Yeah. I'm like I, I took my phone and I'm yeah. walking like quietly because I'm not sleeping and I just something fell. <laughs> <laughs> I was sleeping. People and were fighting. Like, <laughs> what? I was like, what is Asia doing for goodness sake? And when I woke up, I discovered it was a spicy drama going on outside the window. What do you think about my YouTube channel? I think that she has a lot of things to show. To show to the world. Yeah. Thank you. And we're hacked. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. What's the one thing you will miss most about living with me? Your your confidence in your stuff. Like I get inspired by it. And yeah, you're able to to stand up for yourself and you have like your own you have your opinions on everything. 
I'll miss showing you my outfits when I buy them. I'll miss just having you in this room. Ah, I cannot I cannot imagine a new roommate coming in now. They're going to like leave a very big gap to fill in this room. I'm too comfortable having you here that I don't feel like another person can make me feel that comfortable. Give her my number if she bothers you. Thank you. Yeah, I've missed so much about you. Is there anything you would like to tell me? You would really like to tell me now that you're leaving. There's a yeah. very big chance we'll never get to see each other again. <laughs> I told you I'm coming. Okay, I'll you go first. <laughs> um, Asia is very kind. Asia is very nice. I remember the day I was sick. Do you remember the day that you caught square Pamush? Ah, yes. Yes, I was so sick. Uh, Asia bought me food, even the food I took to the hospital. Mm -hmm. You were the one that bought it. That sweet room made anybody want. I can say the same thing. And as I like, she's like she's books. She's very kind, so very very kind. And if I ask her for something, like she she always helps me. And if I I bother her a lot, I think I think I'm the one that bothers you. I bother her a lot, and she said like it's okay. I think I'm always the one bothering you, like no, really no. Because I'm always like, Asia, can I take that from the fridge? I'm like, yes, I, yes, I yes. ask the same thing. We we just really get along really well. So, Auntie and your cousin that came in the other day, they were really nice. I remember when she said, Ah, can I see my other I'm like, Oh, it's funny, but also, she, they, they say a lot of good things about you. Uh -huh. when you left. And, and now, anytime I go to the library, I always think about you. Because you were the one that helped me register the library, remember? Uh -huh. yes. uh, so anytime it's I go to the library now, library. yes, my library queen. Where are you going to the library? Where are you going to the library? Oh, that place would be in my heart. Yes. We don't have libraries like in my hometown. In your town? We have, but it's very small. Mm. And they don't have books in English, I think. Asia made me to start reading English hardcover books again. So anytime I go to the library, I will also remember you. Um, yeah, I make it for educate. <laughs> My mother will be so happy with that because she always likes me reading like books. Mm -hmm. She has a whole collection of books at home. She wants to see all the things we you have done for me. I don't think She's nice to like. From the very first time we packed here, you've always been here, so... We spent one, one year and... Almost two years. A half. One year and a half. Yeah, one year and a half. In December. Yeah. Lisa came, Lisa left. Ilona is here. Ilona is I'm not here. <laughs> Ilona doesn't exist. <laughs> she doesn't exist in this room. I wish we could meet sometime again in the future, you know. You can visit me. In your town? Yeah. Ooh, oh don't tempt me. <laughs> you just see me run we around the door. We have a lot of tasty dishes. Maybe I should add that to my list of to yeah. do before I leave this country. Yeah, because I really want to see you before I leave. And I hope that wherever you go, you continue to be I don't move with much direction anymore. And I have something for you. I don't want you to open it now. I want you to open it when you get home. Okay. <laughs> Shut up. In the it's a Russian tradition, we open our presents before the person that the person. Okay, you can open it. Then you can open it. I think you should have it because yeah. you always model for me. Like I remember when I uh, was trying this on. Yes, when I told you and I wanted to say it looks like lizardy. Yes, lizardy. Yes, but this is not the particular one. This is an improved version of that one. Like it. Thank you so much. I always wanted it's to wear it. It's very pretty. I remember. Uh -huh. 